Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a 3D header for your Twitter super easily in Photopea. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you're at Photopea, obviously you want to go to new project and type in 1500 by 500. That is the dimensions of a Twitter header and hit create. Now you should see a white blank canvas. All you want to do is double click on your background layer and go to color overlay and change that color to a dark gray like this. Hit OK. Now what you want to do is get your pen tool on the left side of your screen. Click on that. Change the fill to like any color you want. I'm going to go with this blue. Make sure there's no stroke. Make sure it's on shape. I'm going to zoom out just so I can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to start at the top left and go to the bottom right. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to connect back to the start. Click off and now we're done with that part. So you can see here. That's the background we're going to be using. Okay, so now we're ready to start making our text. So what you want to do is go to your text tool here on the left. The font I'm going to be using is called Passion. And I'm going to change all the size and all that in a second. So I'm just going to click anywhere on my canvas and type in C. And I'm going to hit that check mark at the top and hit Control Alt and T. So these boxes pop up. Now I can resize it. Hold Shift while you do it so it doesn't warp. And I'm going to make it about that big. Move it here for now. So now I'm going to double click on that C layer. I'm going to go to gradient overlay. I'm going to click in this gradient box here and double click on this first box. I'm going to go with a dark blue. And then I'm going to make another box, make it a little bit lighter. Make one in the middle, a little bit darker and then lighter and then darker. So it'll look like that. Now I'm going to adjust the scale a little bit and I'm going to add an inner glow, change the blend mode to color dodge and change the color to white, turn the opacity to hundred and adjust the spread and size. I'm probably going to change it from color dodge to something else. So let's just try some until we find what we like. Um, I'm going to go with, Hmm. Probably overlay. And then I'm just going to turn the opacity down a little bit. Now what we're going to do is add a drop shadow. So click on the drop shadow. Make the opacity 100 and you want to make the spread 100. And the distance can be like 12 or whatever. The size is up to you. I want it to be like 10, I guess, for this works. Make sure to change the blend mode to normal. Now we're just going to change the color of it to like a dark blue. So it looks like an actual shadow. Okay. Now I'm just going to hit okay. I'm actually going to turn the scale down a little bit on the gradient, but it's up to you. So now just hit okay, hit control and J to duplicate that layer. Use your move tool to move that letter over. Now double click on it and type in your next letter of your name. Mine is a double click on the a go to drop shadow and make sure to uncheck use global angle. So basically they won't share the same angle, which is good for what we're doing. Now I'm just going to adjust the angle here to hmm, about 104. And you just want to repeat that for all the letters. So M change the angle. Okay. So now I got all the letters made. Now we're just going to rearrange them. So you can hit control alt and T to get these boxes to pop up. Then you can rotate it a little bit and you can start to make your text look a little more 3d. So like move that there. I'll keep this one like that. I'll rotate this one a little bit, put that behind the a move the B right here. I might tilt it a little to the left, move this one in front of the, that, and then I'll move the T below that. Actually, I'll keep it above the eye like that. Okay. So it looks pretty cool. Now hold shift and click. Well, first off, click the top one and then hold shift and then click the bottom one, right click on any of them and hit convert to a smart object. Or what you can do is just hold control and select all of them. It works the same way. Convert to smart object. Now we can start adding effects to it and it'll change this as a whole rather than individual layers. 
So what we're gonna do now is hit Control and J to duplicate this, so now there's two. And we're gonna go up to Filter, Filter Gallery, and mine defaulted to this. If yours doesn't, it should be um, the Neon Glow one. It should be something like that. Which one is this? I can't remember. Glowing Edges, that's what it is. So find Glowing Edges, make it look like this, hit OK. So now you can see this is what it looks like. I'm gonna turn the opacity down on it just a little bit. And now I'm gonna combine the two. And now they're one layer. Now what we can do is go up to image adjustments and exposure. And you can turn it up quite a bit. Like that. Now double click on it. We're gonna add an inner glow, which will be, I don't know, color dodge. So you can see that's what it looks like. Just turn it up a little bit, just the opacity. The rest you can mess with if you want, but you don't have to. Okay. So you can see with and without. And now we can add a stroke if we want, like a white stroke. Or you can make it like a gray stroke or a blue stroke. Whatever you want to do. I'm just going to try a white one for now. So now what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer once more. Control Alt T. And I'm going to make it really big. And put it behind the small text. So it looks like this. Now turn the opacity down on it. And you can see you get that kind of effect. So you don't have to make it that big if you don't want to. You can shrink it a little bit. But either way, it's the same kind of thing. So yeah, basically that's what it's gonna look like. It looks really cool and simple. You can add your social media here at the bottom if you want or on the sides, whatever you wanna do. This is just a simple tutorial on how you can do this and it looks really good. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.